when will 21C on premise be released? Look, here's the deal. G'day everyone, Connor here. I do a lot of office hours sessions, webinars, virtual conferences, events, and etc. Hopefully they'll be back in person one day soon. Through those events, I get a lot of questions and most of them are about the topic at hand. And so I try and answer them right there and then. I like that interactive nature you know, that Q&A gives. But often I'll get questions that come through on the chat line or from Twitter DMs, etc that might not be related to the topic that we're talking about. Sometimes they're just about other parts of Oracle Tech. Other times they're just, you know, what, what interests me about what do I do outside of tech? What do I do, but, you know, how long have I been at Oracle, etc. And I never really get around to answering them. So I thought in this video, we will answer as many of those questions as as fast as time possible. So get your coffee ready. We are gonna go at this very, very fast. What's the first thing you do when tuning in SQL? I'll try run it with the gather plan statistics hint. It's fantastic. Is in memory worth it? Hell yeah, awesome feature. If you're worried about the license cost, start with your 16 gig free memory and then see how you go. See if you can justify that investment, but I reckon you will be able to. Is the DBA job gone? <laughs> Hell no. You're gonna be so busy. The faster people can provision databases nowadays, the more you'll have. The more you have, the more work you'll have to do. DBAs are gonna be flat out. Zoom or Teams? I prefer Zoom, not just because Oracle has a partnership with them, I just find it easier to use. One thing I hate is those browser-based pl webinar platforms. Oh, they just don't do the job anywhere near as good as desktop software. When will 21C on-premise be released? Very soon, very, very soon. Is Peel SQL dead? It's funny, recently I saw an article about React and they had this new brainwave they were gonna run JavaScript on the server, server-based React, as if this was some light bulb moment. Latency is a cloud killer, a cloud killer. If you have latency issues, doesn't matter how good your hardware is, doesn't matter how good your infrastructure is. The solution to latency is running code close to the data. Peel SQL's here for the long haul. Will there be a 21 XE? Yes. Do you prefer blogging or video? I think both have their spots. Some people like the longer form content and be able to read their stuff. Other people prefer how-to style videos because that's the common way we do things now outside of tech. What's the best place to learn Oracle internals? Start with the concepts guide. Once you've got that knocked off, then go Googling for more in-depth stuff. When will 21C be released? Soon. Is Tom coming back to Oracle? No, not now, not ever, as far as I know. How do I tune SQL? Forget about tuning SQL tune the business need. If it turns out that the business need ends up you tuning SQL, then fine. But most of the time, go back to your customers, find what their pain points are. If you can tune them, then you'll be much more popular with your customer base. Favorite Oracle tool? Oh, I'm a dinosaur, probably SQL Plus, but SQL CL is just as good and has a lot more extensions. I'm really coming around to Apex. The amount of power in Apex now is fantastic. What's your favorite drink? Well, <laughs> gin and tonic, all day, no, I shouldn't say all day. Always my favorite. Where do you live in Australia? I live in Perth, it's on the west side. It's about four hours flight to Sydney where the Opera House is. Do you know Heather Martin who works for Oracle in Sydney? No, I don't. Oracle is a big place, Australia is a bigger place. Do you hope to travel again soon? If so, where? Yes, I miss travel desperately. I really enjoyed those face-to-face -face meetings with customers, community, etc. Probably domestically first, I reckon Melbourne or Sydney will be my next port of call because the user groups have a strong focus there. Internationally, oh, I'd love to get back to India. Such a good community there. When will 21C be released? <laughs> what gear do you use to shoot these videos? Well, right now we're recording on a Canon R6. I bought that recently. I used to use a Canon M5 and I use a Rode VideoMic Pro for the audio. Great pieces of kit. Do you miss in-person events? Hell yeah. Get vaccinated. What machine do you use for work? I got a stack of them at home. I have an Oracle Lenovo laptop. I have a Dell XPS 13 for traveling. It's a bit more lightweight. I have a desktop a, with a GTX 1070 card which does all the video rendering because the laptop just couldn't cut it. I run an old Toshiba laptop which runs my Pi Hole DNS to stop me getting slammed with ads. And I have a very, very old Samsung laptop with an RDE drive, which actually runs some auto tweeting and stuff, which I used to do. Now that's done from my free autonomous machine. How long have you been at Oracle? Six years, just a couple of weeks ago, my anniversary came up. Thank you to all the people on LinkedIn who gave me a shout out. How long have you been using Oracle? 
Let me think. About 30 years? 30 years? How did you get your job at Oracle? I literally saw it on Twitter. That's a great way. That's why social media is good sometimes. Is Tom coming back to Oracle? Never. When will 21C on prem? Come on! How do you and Chris sort out who answers what on Ask Tom? Generally, simple geography. We're on opposite sides of the world, so we'll log on from time to time and just grab whatever's new on the heap. Sometimes we'll pass things back and forth depending on our expertise. How many Ask Tom questions have there been? About 30,000 answered questions, plus about 150,000 comments have come in which have follow-up questions from time to time. It's been going since 2000. We have budget for one additional licensed option. Would you go multi-tenant, partitioning, or something else? Very much depends on your business, but if I had all things other equal and I had one thing to choose only, I'd probably go partitioning. The amount of things you can achieve with partitioning is mind-blowing. Autonomous, reality, or just another database? Let's face it, like all vendors, at the start, there's sometimes a little bit more overhype than reality, but now I use Autonomous Database all the time. I think it's a wonderfully cool piece of tech. I think most databases will have some sort of autonomy in the near future. What is your favorite conference? Come on, I can't say that. <laughs> all that does is alienate N minus one other conferences. I think they all have their pros and cons. Uh, I like going to almost all of them. What's your favorite food? I've answered that, it's gin and tonic. <laughs> Are there any new features planned for after 21C? Yes, there's always things in the works. Generally, these are customer driven. Customers want things in the database. We try to build them into the subsequent releases. When will 22C come out? Uh, I see what you've done there. Uh, pro tip, it won't. There won't be a 22C. The next one is 23C. You heard it here first. Do you stay in touch with Tom? Nah, never liked the guy. Just kidding. Uh, Tom and I have regular email exchanges. He's a great friend. Uh, his wife Mel came to stay with us in Perth some years ago. So yeah, we uh, regularly catch up and yeah, it's good to see him enjoying life. What is the COVID situation like in Perth? Uh, better than most. How do I learn Oracle? So much free stuff out there. Live labs, fully figured labs, free autonomous database, free VMs, Ask Tom, Office Hours, Dev Gym, uh, Live SQL, Quick SQL, you name it. So many free resources out there. Nothing to stop you from getting started. What country would you like to present in? Iceland. It looks beautiful, I'd love to go there. Why did you stop liking DirectNFS? Who said I'll stop liking DirectNFS? DirectNFS rocks. If you could recommend one user group event to go to, which would it be? If you ever get a chance, go to Uruguay. Edelweiss and Nelson, the best hosts you could ever hope to imagine for anyone that's coming from overseas. Fantastic people. Will Oracle ever go to an exclusive memory database? We got one, check out times 10, it's pretty cool. What will the next release be? 23C. Did you grow a beard during lockdown? Can I get an Ask Tom sticker? No. I offered some last time, I mailed them out. Some got there, some didn't due to international mailing. It was just a disaster because I felt I'd let people down. I tried, I failed, I'm not gonna try again. How do you keep your energy levels up? Coffee, except no substitutes. Oh my. I'm in 12.2, multi-tenant architecture, no RMAN catalog, auto backup control file. I have a problem to restore with RMAN and deleted table space. The problem is that after delete table space in the control file, there is no more reference to my table space. So when I use, holy moly, that's a long question. Do you still do Muay Thai? No, I do fat Thai or fat guy. Not so good. I need to get back into exercise. Automatic indexes, gimmick or real? I think real. The reality is people add indexes in such a risky way nowadays. They slam them on and just you know see what burns to the ground. Not a good idea. I like that automatic indexing does a really passive approach. Looks for opportunities, makes sure they're not gonna harm things. I think it's a real feature and I think it's the way of the future. If you could make one significant improvement to the Oracle software, what would it be? For me, it's that opening experience. I'd love the tool to simply go download and then you literally unzip it and say SQL plus. And if there's no database, it'll create one for you. No create database, no configuration, just download and go. You've always gone overseas through your conferences. Do people ever come to Perth? They do actually. I know I often you know, wax lyrical about, oh, it's so far away and no one ever comes here, but the reality is a lot of great Oracle and community members have come to Perth. Sandesh Rao works in machine learning, but yeah, he's been to Perth as well. Um, Mel Caffrey, Tom Kite's wife, has been to Perth years ago. Deborah Lilly is regular to Perth. Lots of people from around the world have made the long journey to Perth, and for that, I'm very grateful. When will 21C on-premise be released? Look, here's the deal. This is a no-win situation for any software vendor. If we announce a particular date for 21C, or any piece of software that's gonna come out, if we 
miss that date and we go over. We look bad, but also that can be viewed as damaging to the stock price. We can get into all sorts of legal trouble for that. If we come in before the announced date, yes, it's great for the community, but once again, people might say that's some way falsifying the value of the Oracle share price because there are legal issues in terms of what you promise to come to market with. That's why you've seen those wonderful safe harbor statements all over the place. It's not like we like doing safe harbor statements, it's simply the legal requirements that we have to do to protect the shareholders and customers of Oracle. So don't get stuck into me about 21C. It'll be out when it's out and rest assured we're trying to get it out as fast as we can. Phew. Okay, we're done. Hopefully that answers all the questions. Hopefully I've cleared the slate, I'm back to zero. But as a result, I hope to see you on my next office hours or next event session. I'd love talking tech, I love talking banter. I'd love to see some more Q&A from you in the future. Until then, stay safe and hopefully we'll be at a face-to-face -face event sometime soon. Bye for now.